And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. Now let's go to Miss Tucker. Miss Tucker here with your tip of the week. Instructional software is an important tool we use here at Pines. Platforms like iReady, PrepWorks, and USA Test Prep help you to understand your weekly lessons. It is critical that we use these softwares as much as possible as it provides a way for us to help you. So remember, instructional software not only helps, but prepares you for the school year ahead. Back to you, Danielle. Thank you, Ms. Tucker. That was awesome. Now let's go to Jaden to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Danielle. Today in history, on May 13, 1821, the first practical printing press was patented in the U.S. by Samuel Rust. Now let's go to Nathaniel to see what to do today if you're bored and stuck indoors. Thank you, Jaden. Hello, Patriots family. Welcome to Things to Do if You're Bored. For today's activity, we're going to do a way cool paper lanterns. Here are what they look like. Now let's go to the steps. First take a sheet of construction paper. Then take scissors and a stapler. Grab your scissors and cut one strip off the edge of the paper. After you've cut that one strip, fold the paper in half and then cut strips down the sides. Soon you'll have the whole thing. After you've done that, take it and spin it around horizontally so you get a lantern. Then take your stapler and staple the lantern's top and bottom together. After that, take your strip of paper and staple that to the sides at the top so that you can hang it. And now you have an awesome lantern. Wow, wasn't that awesome? Now you have something great to use for party decorations if you ever have a party. And remember, if you do this DIY, send a picture or video to primes.renaissance at gmail.com. And don't forget to check in tomorrow for the next DIY. And stay creative. Now let's go back to Danielle. Thank you, Nathaniel. Now let's go to Weather with Bonnie. Thank you, Danielle. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecasted to be 84 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. Now, let's go back to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, Bonnie. And here's today's joke of the day. A down and out grungy man walks into a swanky restaurant, desperately needing a meal. He asks the waiter if he can have a free meal and the waiter says, absolutely not. This is an upscale establishment in I'm going to have to ask you to leave. The man says, if I can show you something amazing that you've never seen before, will you give me a meal? The waiter replies, okay, only if it's truly amazing and not crude. The man pulls a hamster out of his pocket. It jumps off the table, runs across the room to the piano, and begins playing songs. And it is really good. The waiter is amazed and brings a hot meal to the man while the hamster plays. When the man finishes, he is still hungry and asks the waiter for a free dessert and coffee. When the waiter says, no sorry, unless you have money or another miracle, that's all you get. The man says, okay, and pulls a frog out of his pocket and sets it on the table. 
The frog begins singing a song that the hamster was playing on the piano. A man at another table rushes over and offers $200 for the singing frog. The man makes the trade and the fellow runs out of the restaurant with the frog to get him on the Tonight Show. The waiter says, are you crazy? That singing frog is worth millions, not just $200. The man replies, not so. The hamster is also ventriloquist. Now bring that chocolate torte and coffee, please. <laughs> now let's go back to the yell. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Your jokes are the best. In admin announcements, teachers, please be on your remote page to welcome your scholars in in the morning. Attendance must be taken at some point each day. And lastly, teachers, please don't forget to provide our scholars with positive hero points. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats, Ms. Milho, Mr. Santiago, Ms. Silvera, Ms. Moraz, Mrs. Cutner, Ms. Gilbert. You had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, I'm light as a feather, and yet the strongest person can't hold me for five minutes. What am I? The correct answer to the trivia question was breath. Now for today's riddle. It belongs to you, but other people use it more than you. What is it? Once again, it belongs to you, but other people use it more than you. What is it? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesatrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone on RPCV would like to wish you a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day.